Did you know that you can get 2.0 features on a vintage theme without having to update the entire theme? You can bring over the ability to add sections anywhere on that template specifically just by creating a 2.0 template directly into your vintage theme. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have done this before um, on a webinar that I'll link directly within uh, the description here. But basically have this pulled up. This is debut vintage theme. Uh, if we want to jump into the code here, I'll go ahead and open that as well. Um, so clicking on edit code, it's gonna bring you to this guy here. We'll take a look at that here in a second, but did wanna call out um, vintage themes. Uh, this is from the help docs. Uh, so vintage is not my term. Uh, this is from Shopify that just to talk about basically pre 2.0 architecture. Uh, so again, that's that's where you'll find some of this info here as well. So for now, you can see in here, we've got all these liquid templates uh, and we even have the ability to add a new template directly. And so this is in just, again, from the customizer or from your, um, your themes page in your admin, you can go in and you can actually edit code you really shouldn't do unless you've done this before or know what you're doing so be careful about this capability here uh, but you can see here we can create a template and you know okay like well let's create a new product template that makes sense right it's json great uh, we'll call it updated 2.0 done great it's created a temp uh, a product template for us here and it's json Awesome. So JSON is the new uh, architecture format. Again, talks about it a little bit more in the docs and stuff, but we're not going to worry about that for the moment. Uh, that's basically how you know that these are different. All the liquid templates uh, are basically the pre 2.0 architecture. They don't support all the fancy new stuff we have available to us. But even after we've created this, you can see we don't actually have it in our templates. Um, and even if you did a quick refresh, because this is a blank document that we haven't put anything into, you'll see that we lose it and it says that, hey this doesn't exist and that's mainly because we didn't add anything to it so um, there's no helpful filler content that comes in we'll actually have to go and snag that so I'll show you how to do that real quick so let's start over again from adding a product template it's json to uh, oh. okay and what we want to do then is we're going to want to go over to the docs that's probably the easiest way to do this so uh, I'll link to this in the description below, but basically in the Shopify theme docs, uh, under templates, they have an option for JSON templates. This talks about a little bit more, um, you know, really great info for you to get into and stuff, but we don't really care about that at the moment. Let's go ahead and snag the most important stuff in here, and you'll see that uh, it gives us an example. So this is perfect. So we've got this option here for um, what we can do, and we'll talk about this here in the docs and stuff or whatever, but for now, let's just go ahead and try to add this to our theme. So we've got this file here. Great. Uh, this is just copied and pasted directly over and we'll save, but we have a problem. So to kind of understand this a little bit more, this is just talking about what the um, name of this template uh, is going to be. And then this is a wrapper. So this um, is exactly what it sounds like. It encases this section, uh, this template section, uh, this template specifically. So you can use this to target specifically with different things. So I want to change this uh, instead. So this is basically it's going to wrap it in a div with an ID of div ID. Let's change this instead to product template updated. Okay. And then let's go ahead and this little dot is going to then throw in a class. So again, let's just make it, uh, you know, something we actually want it to be. So, you know, um, so let's just do product 2.0. Great. And then it also has attribute um, as well. So, you know, if you want to give it a specific data attribute, you could do that as well. Um, for our purposes here, I think at least we're not going to do anything super fancy. I don't want to get into the weeds on that. So, you know, something like an ID and a class in CSS is something you should understand. So here though, it talks about sections and it's got this main and then type. And you can see down here for this order here, it'll actually call out uh, where that is. So you can see here pretty easily that these kind of correspond to each other. So you've named it something here. And so 
you know, okay, great. So we know this is the main um, and we're gonna pull this in based on the type. Okay, so this is where it's actually looking for an existing section name. So before when we had uh, the template architecture, we'd have to come in and we'd have to like, you know, actually, you know, add that section in specifically. Uh, but now what we do is just through these JSON templates. So if you scroll down here, um, the easiest way that I think to find this is if we open our old product.liquid file. You'll see here that it calls out product template and then product recommendations. Okay, awesome. Uh, then we've got a little script and a couple of other things in here as well. Um, some extra fun stuff here specific to, um, this is for uh, lit, rich product data and stuff as well. So, you know, stuff we definitely want to bring over, but for the purposes of what we're doing today, let's just keep it simple. So product template here. The simple change right here. So you can see we were actually able to save this. And now if we go back into the customizer here. Let's go over to products. And now we actually have 2.0 in here. So when we named it product dot and then updated dash 2 dash 0, you can see here that's going to be here. And there you go. And we have the ability to add sections. So this is super cool, right? Uh, kind of the same thing here, just to kind of showcase the difference. We haven't done anything with collections. Uh, we would follow the exact same format here where we'd come in uh, and update this. But uh, to kind of show you what this looks like too, you'll see how this changes if we add a section. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop a featured collection in here and we'll save. And then if we come back into our code as well, quick refresh. So this is where Shopify does the thinking for you here. And then pulls in all the specific settings, but this is the new section then that we added as well. And you can see here, this is the behind uh, these section, so it's not as simple and nice as main. But if you wanted to, you could you know name this different things if you wanted to as well. Um, that's just in the future again for something that you'd want to do. So, so another really cool thing about uh, adding these templates, you know, before if we wanted another collection template or something like that, we would have to jump into code, you know, do a whole nother deal where, you know, hey, let's find um, our collections template and, you know, uh, we want to create another one. So like, you know, let's add a new template for collections, then new collection, you know, And uh, you can see there, they actually brought that over and just basically duplicated it. So that's handy, right? Um, and, it, and it references the section just like we want it to. And then in our code here, we'll be able to see that there's a new collection here, uh, but there's no way for us to do this directly within the customizer. But now, like if you want to create a custom, uh, another custom like 2.0 template, you can see we get this button added. This isn't just because it's under products, um, it's because it's a 2.0 template. Shopify can just create this for us. And so directly in the customizer, you're not having to jump into the code. So having this one time dev uh, gives the merchant a lot more control. So you can see here, it'll be based on the 2.0 templates. So update to O Junior. Really clever at naming things, right? Uh, so there you go. So now we're on this new junior template. We can add a different section uh, for something like blog posts. And you can see here on our blog posts, and it's going to be separate from um, our 2.0 template that does not have blog posts. So again, really handy. You can have up to a thousand custom templates. Uh, so really, really nice that uh, we have this capability and that you can do it all directly from the customizer if you just create a base template. Super cool. So there you go, uh, real easy to do this. Uh, I thought it would be better to make a more succinct video rather than doing a long drawn out um, webinar that I did previously, though I go into a bunch of other things like the meta fields, um, app blocks and things of that nature as well. Uh, so this is much more quick, digestible. Uh, if you want to go ahead and come and, and just basically add another 2.0 template to your store, you can do that on your vintage theme without having to go through an entire rewrite uh, of everything on your store. So much more, much more accessible uh, than that. So hope this is helpful. Thanks.